There's nothing more fickle than fame and fortune. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 child stars who went broke. This calls for a spanking. A spanking? They ain't enough of me to spank. <laughs> we're taking a look at young celebrities and teen stars that were raised in the spotlight and ultimately suffered for it later in life. Let's get to it. Number 10. Drake Bell Thank you for my swing set, Mr. Toolman. <laughs> this childhood actor got his start on an episode of Home Improvement in 1994 as Little Pete, but he also did commercials when he was a kid, notably starring in a Game Boy ad for Pokemon Red and Blue in the late 90s. But he's best known for his work on the Nickelodeon show Drake and Josh as Drake Parker. A car crash in 2005, however, resulted in severe injuries for the child star and it fueled a downward spiral that ultimately led him to file for bankruptcy in 2014. Unfortunately, things only got worse for Drake from there, as he was arrested for driving while drunk a year later and sentenced to four years probation. And then he threw up. I puked. Number nine, Dustin Diamond. Come on, Screech, cheer up. Can't be that bad. Dustin played Screech on NBC's hit sitcom Saved by the Bell, and later resurrected this role on the short-lived Saved by the Bell, The College Years. But the acting world wasn't kind to Diamond after the Saved by the Bell years, and he floundered later in life, only managing to find a few bit appearances in movies, some reality TV work, and perform some stand-up comedy. He was forced to file for bankruptcy in 2001, claiming that his parents used much of his money, and later tried to rebound by directing an adult movie, which he denies starring in. Dude. Don't even get me started with that. Unfortunately, things only got worse for Screech after that, as he was later arrested in 2014 for disorderly conduct and carrying a concealed weapon. Number eight, Joey Lawrence. I'm doing homework, what do you want? I wanna come in and talk to you right now. This child actor is best known for his role in NBC's 90s sitcom, Blossom, where he played the incredibly hunky and slightly clueless brother Joey Russo. After that show came to an end in 1995, Lawrence found more regular work when he starred with his two real-life brothers, Matthew and Andrew, in the short-lived TV sitcom Brotherly Love. However, acting gigs were soon more and more rare. He did a few guest spots on TV and film, tried his hand at reality TV, made a few pop music singles, and even starred in a Broadway play. He's a man of many talents, but much like his on-screen counterpart in the sitcom Melissa and Joey, he'd find himself with financial issues in real life. This led to Lawrence filing for bankruptcy in 2017 after racking up approximately $355,000 in debt. All right? Yes. So I'll do it first and then you do it. Ready? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Number seven, Jody Sweeten. Uncle Jesse, let's play ballerina. Uncle Jesse doesn't want to play ballerina. Yes, he does. Oftentimes, the curse of being a child star is that when your life returns to normal, it's just too dull and boring compared to the glitzy, hectic lifestyle you once led. Such seems to have been the case with Sweeten, who turned to alcohol and drugs after Full House ended in 1995, as well as finishing high school and going on to university. While avoiding bankruptcy, the child star still fell on hard times financially, being married and divorced three times, and being forced to enter addictions treatments multiple times. But this one's a happy ending, as Jody triumphantly kicked substances back in 2008 and most recently appeared once again in the role of Stephanie Tanner in Netflix's reboot of Fuller House. Surprise! <laughs> Number six. Aaron Moran. He's got stinky stuff on his hair. Is that what that smell is? Moran was no stranger to acting by the time she landed her most famous role as Joni Cunningham on Happy Days as a teen, having appeared in both TV and film from the age of six. She later joined 80s hunk Scott Bio in the short-lived Happy Days spin-off titled Joni Loves Chachi, before returning to Happy Days for its final season. Like many child actors, however, she could never shake her most famous persona, that of Joni Cunningham, and had trouble getting acting jobs, and went into a deep depression. She was evicted from her California home in 2010 and forced to live with her mother-in-law in Indiana before being allegedly driven out of her trailer park home and succumbing to cancer in 2017 at the young age of 56. The Fonz and the California kid are gonna break the tie. They're gonna jump over a shark. Number five, Mickey Rooney. Good morning. Good morning to you. Rooney reached levels of stardom that even some celebrities can only dream about. 
He began working in film at the age of six, and by the time he was 19, he was nominated for an Oscar for his work in Babes in Arms alongside none other than Judy Garland. Despite being one of the highest paid actors of the era, Rooney was drafted into the Second World War, where he served until his end in 1945. Now too old to star in younger roles, Rooney found supporting work in successful films like It's a Mad, 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 Mad World and Requiem for a Heavyweight, and was never short of work. However, behind the scenes, he was plagued with problems. He married eight times, filed for bankruptcy in 1962, suffered from substance abuse, and reportedly suffered abuse and fraud at the hands of his eighth wife and son, dying with only about $18,000 to his name, despite making millions throughout his lifetime. You want another one? You've had two already. Can't you wait till we're on the ground? What are you talking about? All right, I'll make the next batch. Number four, Corey Haim. Like Rooney's, Haim's career was one of unimaginable highs and crushing lows. If you're old enough to remember the 80s, you'd know that there were few younger stars as big as Corey. But as this list points out, early success is not an indicator for long-term happiness. Are you serious, Grandpa? Despite starring in such hit movies like The Lost Boys and Lucas, and having legions of adoring fans, Haim fell into repeated patterns of substance abuse during the height of his fame, and could never really break free from addiction for the rest of his days. After dropping out of a film in 1996, an insurance company sued him and led him to file for bankruptcy protection the next year. Haim later died of pneumonia in 2010, brought on by incredibly poor health, while living with his mother in California and having very little money left over from his acting days. Can I just suit up? Just suit up and sit on the bench. Number three, Gary Coleman. Say what? <laughs> Coleman was a sought-after child actor in the late 70s to mid-80s due to his short stature and childlike features that were caused by medical treatment for congenital kidney disease. He played the wildly popular character of Arnold Jackson in the TV sitcom Different Strokes, which spawned his iconic catchphrase, Would you tell my way? <laughs> and earned him $100,000 at his highest per episode. Because of his stunted physical appearance, Coleman was unable to find much acting work as an adult. Bad decisions, expensive medical bills, corrupt managers, and his adoptive parents later forced Gary to sue some of those around him, file for bankruptcy, and put personal items up for auction. Aside from many health issues, he also had multiple legal issues, and ultimately died of a subdural hematoma of the brain in 2010. Life ain't just comic strips, you know? <laughs> Number two, Aaron Carter. Growing up in the shadow of older brother Nick Carter of BSB fame must have been hard. However, Aaron carved out a nice little following for himself as a hip-hop and pop singer while touring alongside the Backstreet Boys and making appearances in popular TV shows like Seventh Heaven and Lizzie McGuire. Is this yours? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Lizzie McGuire. Unfortunately for Carter, he'd be arrested for possession of marijuana later in the decade, which signaled the start of a downward spiral. Not only has he checked into rehab on multiple occasions, but he'd also find himself filing for bankruptcy and owing over $3.5 million in debt in 2013. Things did not improve much for the former pop star in the late 2010s. In addition to legal, health, and romantic troubles, he took to Twitter to ask his fans for donations via GoFundMe because he doesn't have, quote, the money that he says he has. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Judy Garland. If you are really great and powerful, you keep your promises. The fact that Garland's life came to a tragic and debt-ridden end at just 47 goes to show just how fickle wealth, fame, and success really are. If she'd only starred as Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, she'd have achieved more fame and success than 99% of the world. Yet, she was nominated for two Oscars for A Star Is Born and Judgment at Nuremberg, was the youngest winner of the Cecil B. DeMille Lifetime Achievement Award, and was named amongst the AFI's top 10 female stars ever. What a resume! But like most others on this list, early fame led to many personal problems, including drug addictions and alcohol abuse, as well as her agent's reported embezzlement of her finances, resulted in debt and huge sums in unpaid back taxes. You don't know what it's like to watch somebody you love just 
crumble away bit by bit. Both physical and mental health issues ultimately contributed to her death from an accidental drug overdose in 1969. It may be sad how far Judy Garland's star fell, but she's still a film legend. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And check out this video.